Point source pollution could be an example of an underground gas tank or a leaky factory or something like that that we can point to and say that this chemical came from this source. Pumping wheel requires a pump to bring water to the surface. An artesian wheel does not require a pump and goes into the artesian aquifer layer. The artesian aquifer layer is not permeable because of the confining layer, which doesn't allow water to pass through. This is why artesian aquifers usually run dry in hot summer months. We have a lake over here that floods and goes into the soil. And these observation wells could be wells that are taken from samples that could be used to view the water quality. All right, so I'm going to start by adding water to the side here. And as you'll notice, once this fills up, that the water is going to infiltrate through the soil and move throughout the model. The level is going down pretty quickly over here, you'll notice, because the water is draining throughout the model. And if you notice over here, the water is going up because the water from over here is infiltrating throughout the soil and ending up on this side. Um, if you look really closely, you'll see the level to which the water has risen in the soil, and we call this a water table. So now I'm going to add some more water. And when it fills up high enough, you'll see that the lakes are actually going to start to fill. And this represents that when we get a lot of water, that it'll start to fill bodies of water on the surface. This is to show the land-water connection. We should be able to see the top of the water table in the lake when it gets high enough. You'll notice over here in our lake, uh, the lake is starting to fill up with water because of the water tables rising. I just put some red dye in here to represent pollutants in this underground tank. And as you'll notice as the water table rises, that it will disperse out of the tank and go into the soil. Now that if we try to pump some water from the nearby well, we will see that some of the pollutants might go into the well. You can also notice that water from this underground tank is flowing into the lake. And that also means that the underground contaminants have reached the surface water. And this can make it unsafe for swimming and other activities. And if this is a situate reservoir, this is very bad. Now you can notice that the pollutants are in the tube, which you can see by the pinkish hue of it and that's getting into the well water. And also, right here, you can see a plume of contaminants that is traveling. We can repurpose the model now and use this point source as a non-point source pollution. We can use this as a pond, lake houses beside the pond. When rainfall comes down in impervious surfaces, it runs into the pond, which carries whatever contaminants with it, and can pollute the soil around it and the pond itself. It could also travel other nearby waterways like the lake or other people's wells like this pumping well.